Good morning, everyone. I'd like to thank you all for joining us on this January morning. Uh, I'd like to first thank Jordan Gauker, uh, Jordan uh, Grant in my uh, office uh, for drafting this and pushing it. And uh, as a nice touch, his parents are here today. So uh, hi, Mom and Dad. Thanks for coming up. Um, I'd also like to thank Senator Kristen Hill for her sponsorship in the Senate, uh, Dr. Shea Rhodes from the Villanova Law Institute to address commercial sexual exploitation, York County District Attorney Dave Sunday and the District Attorneys Association, the Pennsylvania Interfaith Justice Coalition, the Pennsylvania Family Institute, the Commonwealth's victim advocate Jennifer Storm, and my colleagues in the House for joining us today. Human trafficking is one of man's oldest and most vile trades in which human a human being is robbed of their basic rights and dignity. It is easy to think this crime is not found in our communities, but limited to larger cities. However, as a Polaris project reported in 2016, there are cases of drug trafficking throughout the Commonwealth, from Erie to Philly, the Poconos to Greene County. In fact, the Polaris project reported 152 cases of human trafficking in Pennsylvania. The true number, the true number of human trafficking cases is likely much higher since this Crime is vastly underreported and hidden among, among other crimes such as prostitution, theft, and drug dealing, among others. Human trafficking is a hidden epidemic. While Pennsylvania has made progress over the past few years in addressing this crime due to the tireless advocacy of many here on stage, there is always more to be done. Most victims of trafficking are between the ages of 12 and 14. Let me read that again. Most victims are between the ages of 12 and 14. These victims are minors and adults alike, male and female. They're forced to endure one of the most intimate forms of abuse, while predators profit off selling them as if they are a commodity. Their lives and personhood are treated as if they have less value than the cell phone most of us carry around today. The sex trade operates like any other trade based on the laws of supply and demand. Unfortunately, our crimes code often minimizes the penalties for those who purchase sex, thus not creating enough disincentive. In order to create this disincentive, the Commonwealth must bring full force of our justice system against those who would commit this heinous crime. This is why I'm introducing the Buyer Beware Act, which would mirror federal law on human trafficking. House Bill 12, the definition of trafficking would now include anyone who purchases sex from a victim of trafficking. The goal is to reduce the demand. And we all know as demand decreases, the supply will increase, and ultimately human trafficking will be put out of business. Or the supply will decrease, and ultimately human trafficking will be put out of business. Additionally, this legislation makes the penalty for trafficking or purchasing sex from a victim of trafficking a first-degree felony. Effectively, both traffickers and sex buyers, uh, the bill will double the maximum prison time allowed currently under the law. The Buyer Beware Act also imposes stiff financial penalties for anyone who commits these crimes. These financial penalties are not limited to just trafficking, but will also extend to subsequent offenses for anyone caught patronizing a prostitute. Research shows that prostitution trafficking are strongly linked, and by imposing fines on those who are caught patronizing prostitutes, the Commonwealth can reduce demand for this vile trade. Any fines under this section of the bill will be directed to help fund anti-trafficking programs across the state and assist child victims of the sex trade. It is our hope that by passing this bill into law, Pennsylvania will make it very clear to those who would purchase sex, buyer beware. Should you commit this crime, you will face the full force of our legal system.